Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a do-it-yourself with edible arrangements, all for under $15. This technique can also be used not only for Valentine's Day, but also for Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, birthday celebrations, anniversaries, anything you can think of. Dollar Tree is your best friend when it comes to do-it-yourself projects. Stay tuned! Okay, so I was just shopping for Valentine's Day gifts for my husband. I was on Edible Arrangements website and I saw this cute little uh, package with, you know, a bear, a box, and some fruits. I scrolled down and the price was $104.98. $104.98 for five little pineapples, some strawberries, with some chocolate and some sprinkles, in a bucket, with a teddy bear on the side. $104.98? That makes absolutely no sense. So then I continue scrolling and I see, oh wow, and you can add a greeting card. That's pretty nice. Let me scroll up and see how much this greeting card is. An additional $6.99. $6.99. For a greeting card. So all that brings my total up to about $115 for 10 pieces of fruit in a bucket with a teddy bear and a card that you can get from Dollar Tree. So then I just started scrolling on their website and just looking at all the items that they have. A coffee mug, you could also get that at the Dollar Tree. These things are just so simple and it just takes a creative mind to think of these things. All their pictures are just for show. It's literally just fruit dipped in chocolate on a plate or a platter or in some sort of fancy festive box. Vases, coffee mugs, plates, bowls, boxes, all things that you can get at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. One dollar. Some of these candies that they sell that come with the edible arrangement and cookies and cu cupcakes. All those can be purchased as well from your local supermarket. Let's stop letting these companies rob us. So after seeing these ridiculous prices, $50, $60, $80, $84, I decided to take it to the supermarket. Grab myself some green seedless grapes for $2.99 a bag. And then I got myself some strawberries, $3.99. One nice big pineapple. And these pineapples were going for $2.99. Altogether, I spent $10 on fruit. I got myself some kill greens for $2.99. You'll see what I do with the kill greens. If you Google what does edible arrangement put in between their fruits, you'll see it's kale. So then I headed to the doll store. Got myself a nice Valentine's card from my hubby for one dollar. Yeah, my doll store is still a doll. I know some of y'all, your doll, doll store has changed to a doll 25. But currently, my doll store is still a doll for everything, which is good. 
then I wanted to get myself a balloon on the side. A lot of the Valentine's stuff was run out at this dollar store because, you know, I went the day before Valentine's Day, which was a bad idea, but it's okay. It was a last minute decision to make my own edible arrangement. And then I just had to look at all the Valentine's stuff that they have on their walls, see what I can add into my little edible arrangement. I mean, it's only a dollar. I did see these like little pinkish bowls, but then when I looked, there was like holes on the sides, so I have to make sure that if I'm going to do an edible arrangement, the vase needs to be either colored or it can't be clear. They had their Easter stuff out already. It's ridiculous. They love rushing the seasons on us. And then I found these buckets and I said, oh, perfect. These make the perfect edible arrangement buckets to put fruit in. It looks so nice. They have hearts over it, so it fits the occasion. So I picked up about two of these buckets. And then these could be good to use after for plants too. Because you know when you buy edible arrangement, you know, you can use their bucket or bowl or whatever they have for plants and stuff. You can use it after you eat all the fruit out of it. And then at the doll store, you also have the choice of buying these larger buckets. I mean, they come in all colors and everything. If you want to do a larger edible arrangement. And then I got the milk chocolate to melt in the microwave. They did have these options, but I know the edible arrangement used kale because they try to keep everything edible. So I decided not to pick these up at the dollar store to fill the fruit. To fill in around the fruit. And then I got some of these foam squares so I would be able to stick my fruit in. You guys will see how I do that. And I didn't show it on this video, but I also got those, um, what do they call those large, long toothpick things. Those sticks that you put marshmallows in, I forget what they're called. But you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll show it to you in the video soon. And then they had these cute little buckets, and I was like, oh these are nice. that are in the plastic still. Flowers and garden and it can also be used as a pot afterwards. And these are my receipts. Ten dollars on fruit basically. Especially with the savings. And at the Dollar Tree I spent $13, but I did get multiples of things, so it wasn't that bad. And I did end up only using one, only a half of one of the chocolate bars. So at this point, I've already cut my pineapple. I took off all the skin from around it. And now I'm just going to cut out my hearts. So if you want bigger hearts, you should use this whole wheel. Don't cut off a quarter of the wheel like how I did to make smaller hearts. The only reason why I'm making smaller hearts is because my bucket is smaller. But if you're making a huge edible arrangement, a really big one with a lot of fruit in it, you can use the whole entire wheel to make those big hearts that you see on the website. And with one pineapple, you'll get a good, probably, 10 to 11 big hearts. I did cut out way more hearts than I needed, but it's okay because I enjoyed them for a snack afterwards. You can see I'm just cutting triangles and then cutting around, you know, trying to shape the heart the best possible. Don't judge my heart cutting skills.
move on to my strawberries. As you can see, I'm taking all the leaves out, the stems out as they're called. Then I'm gonna take my grapes off of the vine. When you see all this fruit, you're gonna see how many edible arrangements you can make from buying one package of each fruit. So I went and I washed my grapes and I washed my strawberries. So now I'm preparing to my kale. Now I'm preparing my kale. Got that in the bowl, set to the side. So I'm getting my bucket that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I got my little foam box. I can see it's way too big to fit in the bucket, so I did cut it in half. Which leaves another half of the foam for another project. I put some kale in the bucket on top of the foam. And then, as you can see, stick is really big so I did cut the sticks in half because my edible arrangement is a bit smaller and then I'm just gonna stick each stick into the grape or strawberry or pineapple whichever fruit you want to start out with I decided to go with my green grapes for the base then you just want to stick it right in that styrofoam the styrofoam is not going anywhere at this point. And you're going to see how good the kale just fills in all the empty gaps and holes when we're done. So you could add another styrofoam box on top of the one that's already in there. That would help give um, a little height if you want to do like a different shape of an edible arrangement. But I just kept mine simple. And then I'm putting the sticks and the strawberries. And those are supposed to go upside down. Don't push the fruit through all the way because it will the stick will go right through the fruit. Accessories that I got from the dollar store. Now this, these flowers, I did want to cut them in half just make their stems a little shorter, just so I could put it in the bucket. But because they made the stems were made out of wire, they are fake flowers. I had to just stick the whole thing in there. But it's okay because it still looks good. Where I messed up, but it's okay. I'm gonna show you why. I put the chocolate in the microwave, melted it, took it back out, and stirred it. But what I should have done, if you do want chocolate covered fruits, before you even put the fruit in the bucket, in the styrofoam, make it look all pretty and complete. Dip the cho dip the fruits in the chocolate first. Dip the fruits in the chocolate first. And then place them in the bucket. And then you can place the bucket in the fridge so the chocolate can get nice and hard.
dip the strawberries in the chocolate and then dip the strawberries that are already covered in chocolate in the sprinkles swirl it around and then put it on the stick and put it in your bucket this will save you a whole lot of time and mess and it's a lot easier to do but I didn't think about the chocolate and the sprinkles until of course after down the sprinkles into the chocolate just to try to make it look neater but like I said do it the other way all right and there you have it edible arrangement made at home for less than $15 I saved myself about a hundred dollars by doing this myself show you guys really quick what I have left over so I still have a foam that comes two in that pack I have the foam box still I still have the other half of foam that I cut from before so this goes to show you that I can make a whole lot more edible arrangement than the one that I just made for a whole bunch of different people I still have my grapes and my strawberries these are the ones that I've washed and then I still have my kale Now I'm going to show you guys that I still have a whole bag of kale left in the fridge that hasn't been washed or used that I can use for a couple more edible arrangements. This is the leftover kale. And then these, I still have even more green seedless grapes. And these are all my pineapples that I can use for a whole lot more arrangements. So this goes to show that just by buying these items for $15, I can make probably about four or five more edible arrangements, all for $15. And then here's just some extra buckets that I had bought. So think about the money that you save. Doing it yourself. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and comment down below tried this let me know how yours came out i would love to hear from you until then subscribe 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 and stay tuned for my next video